Hey guys, it's Renee. So this Valentine's cake is actually pretty easy. I'm going to be using star pot cake. I made the two six inch mini cakes and I'm going to frost them and I'm going to be filling with some cream cheese frosting. I have the recipes from like Nordstrom's Cafe, but I really like this one. It's really yummy. Adding my layer in the middle, then adding my other layer of cake on top and then just frost the whole thing. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, for how this is going to turn at like the final result, it's better if it looks humble made smooth-ish but not like perfectly flat. Now if you don't know how to do this, it's been a while since I did this and it takes practice, I'm gonna be honest here. Don't expect perfection. The smoothest cake the first time you try it, it takes practice and use a buttercream or just a frosting that is like soft and smooth because otherwise it's gonna be pretty frustrating but once you get hang of it, it's actually kind of relaxing and easy to make. I'm gonna be taking this three gelful colorings, pink, teal, and purple. I do have a review for this one. These are by Wilton. And I'm gonna be mixing them with some white from like Emery Color in this Polar's Paint thing with my brush. I'm using the Wilton set, by the way, the brushes. Once I have like the shade that I wanna go for, I'm gonna be pretty much painting hearts all over my cake. They don't have to be perfect. Well, it's pretty much up to you how perfect you want them to be. But for me, I wanted this to be kind of like an abstract cake. And so I wanted uh, this to be almost like if a kid had drawn those hearts. This totally can look like a kid draw those hearts, by the way. I'm fine with it. I actually like that about this cake. But if you want them to be like perfect and just symmetrical on that, feel free to do that. Then with that same brush, I'm going to be dragging some paint all over the place like this. Just wherever I felt like it was like an empty space or just needed something else and i actually did this with yellow as well and i feel like adding yellow to this made this a bit more fun then i'm gonna be cleaning my uh, plates like this but then with my wilton 1m by piping back and more of that jammy cream cheese frosting i'm gonna be adding some light details on the edges of my cake i did this twice by the way just adding another layer on top then i'm going to be using this diy like cupid's hearts that i just did on my channel so shake that one out if you want to know how i did the Part that I'm gonna be using, which is like the last part, but I'm gonna be undoing the whole thing, breaking my barbecue skewer, and then just placing them pretty much like if Cupid threw those like arrows on different hearts. I just had four of those barbecue skewers, by the way, but if you have more, just add more. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had a different vision of this cake in my head when I was imagining this cake. In my head, it looked 10 times better, but I like it anyways. I think it looks really cute and fun. I think it looks kind of like childish, like a kid made this but again i really like something cute that i want to share with you for valentine's the cake itself is delicious by the way but hopefully you like it if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and let me know down below check out more desserts that i have on my shelf subscribe for more and share this happy valentine's either if you're in a relationship or you're single thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye